Hi guys, Amelia Bolinski here with the uh, week three Sienna Spotlight video blog. Um, I've actually had a really exciting week, uh, pretty busy uh, with both of my um, majors actually, um, but I am uh, sitting here in uh, Sage Union. It's a beautiful, beautiful old building here on our campus. Um, it's unfortunately not used for a whole lot anymore. Um, the the band rooms downstairs. Um, a lot of times kids just come and hang out in here um, because it's really cool, pretty historic. Um, but uh, right now it's being used as the uh, kind of like headquarters for the uh, Sien Heights food drive. Um, this is something that the um, psychology program here at Siena and specifically the social psychology class um, sponsors uh, every November um, to raise money and um, bring in food for a local soup kitchen here in Adrian called the, the Daily Bread. Um, so this is something like I said that a particular class um, takes on for the semester and plans, uh, executes, um, and evaluates and everything. Um, and I'm actually in that class this semester, so it's pretty fun to be kind of on all sides of the project. I've um, helped out, you know, like during the weeks of it um, in my first two years here at Siena. But um, this is the first time being able to like plan it and then execute it and um, evaluate it. Um, to uh, in the near future here um, but it's really cool uh, because this class is so um, uh, like activity activity based um, and so in conjunction with you know our syllabus and like all this stuff in social psychology that we're supposed to learn uh, we learn about hunger awareness um, and the problem of hunger in, um, in our country, um, I mean, in our, in our community, but in our, in our greater world as well. Um, and we use that as a platform to learn all of our um, social psychology concepts and uh, terms and uh, cases and stuff like that. So um, it's really cool to be able to put those into action. Um, but I mean, that's even a big pillar here at Siena. Um, is contemplation in action. So being able to, um, you know, think about something and study something and then act upon it, um, and do the right thing, uh, pretty much. Um, so that's really cool to get to be a part of all that. Um, so you'll see behind me uh, part of the, um, what has been raised during the food drive this week. It ended earlier today. Um, and so tomorrow morning, we actually get to um, sort everything out and put it in boxes and take it over to the soup kitchen. Um, um, hopefully that will supply them for uh, the winter months and possibly through um, next summer as well. Uh, on average, we get enough donations in, um, in cans and money to last um, the food pantry at uh, the daily bread about four to six months. Um, and every year for the last four years have been record breaking years. So, um, we're hoping and we'll, we'll know later, later on, uh, this week or early next week if we, uh, if we ended up breaking our record, but, uh, it's a really, really cool, um, thing to be a part of. And I'm really blessed that I get to be able to, um, help people, but, um, learn, um, learn a certain topic in one of my majors, um, using a tool of, uh, awareness and, uh, social justice, so to speak. Um, one other thing that I've also, uh, had an exciting week for is, um, in the music department. So as I said previously, I, uh, am in three ensembles this semester. Um, I'm in our youth symphony, which is, um, an orchestra that brings, uh, college students and, um, community members and, uh, younger 
kids, high schoolers, middle schoolers, um, all together to play in an orchestra. So I do that as well as being in the university chorale, uh, which is our non-auditioned um, main choir uh, for the university. And then I'm also in chamber singers, which is a small, um, small ensemble. And we sing mostly um, chamber style music, church music, um, and stuff like that. But um, and that is an auditioning group, so it's mostly, you know, music majors and stuff like that. But we've been working really, really hard this semester. Um, our whole program is getting uh, kind of revamped. The, the music major uh, now is actually only four years old. Um, and so we just got our certification in music education. Um, we have had a successful marching band for about four years now um that's grown so much even since i've been here um it has about 60 or 70 people in it um and so now we're starting to um kind of build build and rebuild <laughs> the choir program we have about 30 40 singers um total um and so it's really cool to uh, be able to be a part of all this uh, building and changing um, and we've all of these ensembles have been working towards um, our end of the semester concerts uh, specifically the band and the choir are doing a joint concert on December 10th um, and it's going to be a really really big big event and big kind of like um, a big chance for us to kind of show um, what we're doing and how we're how we're trying to change the the culture here at the university. Um, and uh, I really hope that um, that goes well. And I'm I'm proud of what we've done um, so far. And I can't wait to see uh, you know see us succeed in our first concert of uh, of the year and. Um, Hopefully that, that leads itself to uh, many, many more successful performances and, um, you know, other, other good things to happen for the music program here at Siena. Um, like I said, I'm really blessed to be a part of it all. Um, and so if you're interested um, in attending these concerts, they're, they're all over Facebook um, and stuff like that. But if you contact the university, they would be able to tell you the, the calendar of events um, for those. So um, I hope you guys have a great week um, and happy early Thanksgiving. Um, I'll still be coming to you from my house next week, um, but um, it's been great talking with you guys. All right, bye.